Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial video and in this lecture series we're going to show you how to um, use the vModel two-way data binding aspect of VGS to make uh, checkboxes that toggle on or off the panels in our application. So if we uh, press these buttons we have individual um, portions of the application become visible and invisible. So the way to do this is very very easy and uh, the behind the scenes of how v, v model works in VGS is a little magical, but it's basically um, a way to use input data for text area or input types, or in this case, checkboxes to toggle on or off uh, certain data types um, related to it. This is basically what two-way data binding is. So let's get right into this tutorial. So this is our application um, that we're going to work on. And as you can see, the buttons currently do not work. So let's uh, first add in the vModel aspect to these HTML uh, checkboxes. So let's go to our code. And we want to go all the way up to where we have the checkboxes. And here, let's say uh, display title. Let's give this a vModel. Now, once we create the vModel, we do have to create um, the appropriate uh, variables in the um, in the script tag as well so we will do that in one moment but we're going to just come up here and name these first so you get a, an idea of how these work so v model is going to be display title and uh, display add new task this one will be display add tasks this one will be v model display task statistics this one will be display tasks this one will be and I'm just naming all these all at one go so it'll be really easy to see and program on to see how these uh, programs work so V model uh, this one will be um, completion progress task bar so this display progress bar And uh, this one is not a checkbox. This is the change app title on VGS portion will be uh, programmed later on. So no, now that we have the V model portions coded, let's go down to our VGS um, instance and actually input the V model uh, data binds. So let's go down and let's create um let's create a new VGS uh, instance. Here we're going to say let script and let to do app is equal to new view instance l app and data it's going to say display title so we're all going to say true for now because we just want to have all of them visible but later on we're going to change certain ones to false so that we don't have everything visible on the get-go when we first uh, refresh the page so we're going to say display title true display tasks is equal to true display progress bar is equal to true display add tasks is equal to true display task uh, task I'm gonna use singular here is task statistics is equal to true and now if we go back to our page nothing happens because we haven't actually uh, made the vif statements the vif directives to make this uh, two-way bottle mining two-way uh, data binding actually um, have a visible application in our mini application. So if we go back to our page, um, refresh the page. Now what happens is though these all start out as check marked because they're true. So this is basically what VGS does is VGS detects what kind of input tag or text area um, element this is. So in this case it detects that it's an input checkbox element. So it determines that it's going to be either a boolean of true or false. And we said all of them were true. So all of them, when we refresh the page, all of them uh, are checkmarked as true. So now we can, uh, so if we basically uncheck this, what's happening is, is those instances are being checked as false. So let's, uh, let's go back to our um, code and let's actually install the VIF directive so that when, when uh, the two-way data binding variables are toggled 
to true or, to false or true we want to actually have them uh, appear as have the uh, relevant panel element appear or disappear uh, based on our command so um, let's go to uh, th uh, so let's go to this is our checkboxes so let's go to our first let's go to our title and in our title it's going to be v if display title so let's uh, let's let's go back to our browser and see what happens so let's go back to our browser refresh the page if I unclick this the display title disappears now if I do it for any other element nothing happens because we haven't coded it yet however if I do display title it toggles on or off. So now we know how to um, use the VIF directive. So let's add it in for the rest of the panel elements. So here we're going to go to diff class panel info for add new tasks. Here we're going to say VIF display add tasks. Then for a completion, uh, completion progress bar, we want to say if once again and say display progress bar then we want to go to task statistics the if display task statistics and then v table we want to say v if display tasks Okay, so now that we have there, we want to go back to our browser, refresh the page, and now if we uh, checkbox this, display tasks disappears. If I checkbox uh, completion progress bar, that disappears. If I, progress, if I disappear the title, title disappears, the stats disappears, and the tasks disappears. Okay, so guys, that's how you use the two-way data binding of VGS. Um, using the uh, using the VIF directive and the um, uh, what was it? <laughs> if you use the uh, the two-way data binding of the V model uh, V directive, so that's how that is done, and that's real. It makes toggling things on or off using VGS extremely simple. So I hope you guys enjoy this uh, tutorial, and I'll see you guys in the next video.